Bibliophiles of the Internet. My name is Adriana and today I'm here to bring you a Top 5 Wednesday video and today's topic is Top 5 Books that Feature Traveling. If I wanted, this list could just go on forever because I've read so many great books that feature traveling in some kind of way but I narrowed it down to the books I thought of on instinct immediately when I heard this topic. So without any further ado, let's get listed. This week, what else is new? I'm cheating and I'm including a sixth book and that is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. I feel like this one is kind of obvious what with the main character Sophie setting off to make her fortune and going on this adventure and leaving home and she also sets foot into this moving castle of Howl's and that takes her a lot of places. At number five we have Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage by Haruki Murakami. So not only is the main character of this book obsessed with trains, but he also has to do a lot of traveling himself as he tries to track down some old friends who he has lost contact with. And I love it, and it's good, and you should read it. At number four, we have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This is probably one of my more unexpected choices for this topic, but I immediately thought of this title when I thought of books that involve traveling. So no spoilers, don't worry. One of the main characters, Nick Dunn, eventually has to do a little bit of traveling because his wife, Amy, has a tradition of setting up a scavenger hunt every time they have a wedding anniversary. And this year, it's a little bit more exciting. And like I said, I think this is one of the more iconic books that involves traveling, but in a very different way. At number three, of course, I have The Lumetere Chronicles by Melina Marchetta. This is the first book, Finnegan of the Rock. Of course, in this first book, the main character Finnegan and his right-hand man, Sir Topher, do a lot of traveling as they go all across this land, trying to gather all of the Lumetarian exiles so that they can get together and journey back to their homeland in hopes of reclaiming it. I feel like you all know this is one of my favorite fantasy series of all time, and if you have not gotten on this train yet, you're gonna thank me when you finally do. At number two, we have another one of my all-time favorite series, and that is the Full Metal Alchemist series by Hiromu Arakawa. And again, this series immediately came to mind when I heard this topic because the two main characters, Ed and L, do a lot of traveling throughout this world as they try to research and gain intel on the Philosopher's Stone. And that search takes them all kinds of places on this epic 27 volume adventure and it's perfect. And what kind of list would this be if number one did not go to The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien? And again, this is one of my favorite fantasy series of all time and it probably just features the most traveling out of all of the books on my shelf, so it just seems right that it's number one. So these are my top six books that feature traveling. Let's just pretend the top four are all one because that's how I'm counting them. So in the comments down below, please let me know if you have read any of the books I mentioned today or if you had to make your own top five list of books that feature traveling, which titles would make the cut. But anyways, that is everything I had for this top five Wednesday list today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye. At number two, I have a book that's upside down. <laughs> Thanks J.R.R. Tolkien for being a boss. I don't know what I'm doing.